<laughs> right. <clears throat> My first poem is called A Bag for Life, which is currently on a bus in Brighton. I haven't seen it, but I, I've been told it's on a bus. A bag for life. Make sure it's strong, even though you have a penchant for cramming it. Don't overload. That surplus weight might just erode its usefulness if you get it wrong. And in that bag you take along, store treasured items, poems, a song, valued things. Use your own barcode, a bag for life. Traveling another furlong, this bag is a keeper. Prolong valuable time each episode. Use space well, it's one for the road. Make numbered days last extra long. A bag for life. Um, and on my journey, if you like, strangers on a train. I didn't know life would change in a third class carriage on a train from Irun to Madrid. A teenager, I couldn't afford a sleeper. Settled in a compartment with parents, a grandma, and four noisy children. Our currency was smiles and nods when they opened their bulging bags and food hamper. Thumbs up to their sliced ham, cheese and tomato sandwiches, ripe peaches, juicy oranges and wine. No language skills as yet, but each gesture, an invitation to share their spoils, learn their language. Jamón, queso, tomates, bocadillo, melocotón, naranja, vino. Queres probar? Probably meant, would I like some? Replete, and by the time the slow train pulled into a torture station hours later, I knew 50 more words. 50 words that were my staple diet in years to come. Taught me how a new life could begin sharing a meal with strangers in their own country. And I discovered a hybun recently. I never knew what a hybun was, and uh, now I know. So I've written one, and this is called Hybun for My Cousin. An unidentifiable smell, bland as the colour of the ward. Linda in a blue pattern NHS gown. Nobody would steal that. Linda, without her wig. I don't know how long I've got. Gossip is her thing. She knows everything before it's even a secret. Linda won't make a will. Hateful Janet is next of kin. She can fight for my money. My grandchildren have brought their violin and cello for an impromptu concert. Better close the door so no one is disturbed. We can't hear traffic. No birdsong either. Who could be listening? Her black backpack snakes out of the bedside drawer. She'd always strap that on when out, easier to carry her shopping home. I have mum's trolley. During lockdown, I shopped at 7am, ate healthily for months, lost weight, exchanged photos of meals with friends. Son-in-law Cedric thought that odd, especially the breakfast pics of organic oats, prunes, nuts and seeds but he's French, buys meat at Morrison's, cooks for the family, always checks the reduced sell-by date produce, plays Gasbourg, Dylan, Cohen and Polnareff through his father's state-of-the-art speakers. Julien Clerc is singing Ma Préférence. It all means something. Nothing happens without cause, which has its effect.